Can you use a controller in Minecraft Java Edition in 2023? Yes, you can. And in this video, we're going to show you how to do it. We're going to be using an Xbox controller today uh, in order to do this. It's actually really simple. All you need is the mod we're going to install, a controller. This will work if we scroll down here with a Sony PS5 via USB and Bluetooth, PS4 DualShock via USB and Bluetooth, Xbox Series X controller via USB or wireless adapter, Xbox One controller via USB or wireless adapter, the Switch Pro controller via Bluetooth, use DS for Windows if on Windows, the Steam Deck, as well as the generic XI input controllers, so any that has that. We're going to be using today an Xbox One controller. This is one that has been customized, but overall, it's still an Xbox One controller. Now, with that, you're also going to need a USB. This uses a micro USB. Modern controllers use more USB-C, for example, the Xbox Series controllers do. But that's all you need. You need a way to connect it via Bluetooth or USB, depending on the controller you're using the controller, and this mod. The mod is controllable. It's from Mr. Crayfish, awesome YouTuber as well here. Go check out his channel if you are interested. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get it. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below, and that's going to take you here. This is the controllable download page, and on this page, we want to go ahead and click on Files. Now, the reason I'm doing that instead of just downloading it from the sidebar is because you might want this for a Delver version, right? Right now, 1.19.3 is the most recent version. But if in the future you want it for a older or newer version of Minecraft, if you click on files, you can scroll down through here and see all the different versions, all the way back to 1.12.2 that this supports, right? You could download this for 1.12.2 and play with a controller on that version. Now, we're going to be using the most recent version, which is 1.19.3, but nevertheless, it doesn't matter. Once you've found the version you want, click on the download file button there and the download will begin. Well, that's just downloading. How about a message from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much, we host every single Minecraft server we have on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. They really are the best around. Nevertheless, as you can see, Controllable has now downloaded in the bottom left of Google Chrome. You may need to keep or save this file in the bottom left of Google Chrome. It really does depend on your browser. You also need to download Forge. Forge is the mod loader that is required in order to install a ton of different Minecraft mods. Controllable is one of the mods that requires Forge. So let's go ahead and go to the third link in the description down below. That takes you here. This is our in-depth guide for Forge. It goes over everything you could possibly need to know about getting Forge. Check it out if you have any issues. We're going to go over the basics here, but if you have issues, this is here. This also stays up to date to the most recent Minecraft version. Now let's go ahead and click Download Forge. That will take you to the official download page for Forge here, where we want to come under Download Recommended and click on the Installer. When you click on that, it will take you off to Add Focus. Or stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just put your hands in the air and wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, this red skip button here will appear in the top right. The only thing that you want to click is the red skip button in the top right. When you do that, in the bottom left, Forge will have downloaded, right like so. Now, you may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. By the way, it's the bottom of Google Chrome. You'll click keep. On Firefox, you might need to save it in the center of your screen. In other browsers, kind of just depends. You might need to keep or save it. And that's 100% going to do as long as Forge is in the title. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser. And when we do so we'll need to move these to our desktop. Now, you don't necessarily have to do this, but it makes it so much easier later on. So to do that, you want to click the little Windows icon in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. When you do that, type in File Explorer. You have this File Explorer here. Open this up, and then on the left-hand side, scroll down to this PC. Then in here, you'll have a Downloads folder, and right there it is, Forge and Controllable. Drag and drop these to your desktop. Now, if your icons are different than mine, that's okay. Let's try to open up Forge first. To do that, right-click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, how do you fix it? Well, the same way that you fix your icons, if they're different, and that is Java 17. You need to download and install Java 17. This could be Java 18 in the future. It could be a different version of Java, but whatever version we link here is up to date with the most recent version of Minecraft. Come through here, again, another in-depth tutorial that covers everything you need to know. And then once you've got this updated, you've got this good to go. You may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. And that's what specifically will fix your icons. But before you can do that, you'll need to get Java 17 first. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and finally right-click on Forge, click Open With, 
click Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the Forge mod system installer here, where you want to click on Install Client, and click OK. So you're going to download, install, and get everything set up. There's only three reasons this wouldn't work. The first, you've never played the version of Minecraft you're trying to install Forge for. Let's say you've downloaded the 1.12 version of Forge, because that's the version of controllable you wanted, and then you try to install it. But you've never played that before without any mods or anything like that. Well, this isn't going to work. So you want to make sure you go back and play that version without any mods installed or anything like that. The same could be true for a newer version of Minecraft. Let's say you only want to play with the controller. Well, you unfortunately have to launch it once with a keyboard and mouse, Minecraft, in order to play with a controller. But nevertheless, once you've done that, you've got it launched, you can come back and install Forge. But if you're still having issues, the second reason is that Minecraft's open. The third reason is that the Minecraft launcher is open. If either of those are open, close out of them and then reinstall Forge, and this will work. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and close out of this by clicking OK and delete Forge from our desktop. Now, let's get controllable installed. To do this, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher, and we want to play Minecraft with the Forge installation. Now, you probably have one already created because that just happened when we installed Forge. Some of you won't, though, and for those that don't, I will show you how to fix it, but as you can see, it's already selected there. It's Forge, it's the correct version, which in our case is 119.3. We can click play, we can click play again. But if you don't have this, click on installations up at the top. Then you should see Forge here. If you still don't, make sure modded is selected. As you can see, we deselect modded, it disappears. Select modded, there it is again. We can click play, click play again. But if you don't have a Forge installation at all, what do you do? Well, click a new installation here. And we're going to name this Use a Controller. 2023 because we're using a controller with Minecraft. It's awesome stuff. And then the most important part of this though, the name doesn't matter, is the version drop down. Then in this, we want to select release 119.3 or whatever version you're playing. Could be 1.12 dash forge. It's worth noting that if you're using an older version and sometimes even if you're using the most recent version, you may have to scroll down a long ways in order to find it. I've seen it be at the very, very bottom. I think that's kind of a bug, but I've also seen it be at random places in the middle, including like around version 1.0 of Minecraft. So it's very, very weird, but scroll through here, you should be able to find it. Nevertheless, though, once you've got Forge selected, I'm changing the resolution so you can see once we get in game, but the most important part's done. You've got this set up. Now we can click Create, and then we can click Play on our Forge installation and open up Minecraft. From here, it's super easy to install controllable. That's the hardest part, actually, is getting... Forge installed and getting Minecraft open with it. So I'll see you on the Minecraft main menu to get controllable installed. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu, click on mods and then click on open mods folder in the bottom left. That was fast. It was after a jump cut. So let's do that one more time. From the Minecraft main menu, click mods and then click open mods folder in the bottom left. Your mods folder will open. Now all you want to do is take the controllable mod we downloaded and drag and drop it into this mods folder. Now it's not here, right? And it's not going to be here until you close out of Minecraft and reopen it up. You need to reopen Minecraft with controllable and your forge installation, right? So when you reopen Minecraft with your forge installation, controllable will be installed. Now, unfortunately, I've kind of went to USB-C everything uh, I have realized over the past uh, about year or so. And we're going to want to go ahead and play, by the way, with that Forge installation we have there. As you can see, it's Forge version. But uh, this is all I've got. Boom. That's it. It's a very, very small, it is, it, like, it's probably six inches of cord here. So this is what I have to use, right? This is what I have to use. And with that, we want to go ahead and plug this into the computer. But the problem is I can't really do that and still be on webcam. I mean, I guess I could. Let's try this real fast. I had to go buy a different cable. Um, that one was not working. So let's try this one. This one is, like I said, a longer cable. So it should hopefully work here. Um, the other one, like I said, I think it was a dead cable. Did not work. Uh, and it's not that it didn't work with Minecraft. It's that it didn't work with the controller. But uh, this one does decidedly work. Now, one of the uh, cool things is you can use this on the main menu. So as you can see, we are, we are clicking through the main menu here with the controller. So we can select single player. We'll go up here to our... 1.19.3 world here. Can you double click this to get it? You can. You can double click to even get that running. Now, we have a warning here. Basically, it's because we're getting having this mod. The great thing about this mod is if only mods you play with is controllable, you'll never have any issues, right? This will just work. So that's what's really, really cool about this mod. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it's working now. You can double tap forward to be able to run. You can double click if you have fly or double tap A to fly. You can attack with right trigger. I believe you can place blocks with left trigger. Y opens up the inventory. We're in creative, so we can go ahead and select blocks. I mean, it's just like Minecraft for Xbox. I mean, it really is, or, you know, like Bedrock for console, but you get all the cool Java features. You can install this with other mods, by the way. So 
feel free to do that. Feel free to play with other mods. It's a great way to experience Java Edition if you're not used to Java Edition and instead want to use a controller or if for whatever reason you can't use a mouse and keyboard. There's plenty of people out there with disabilities who can't use a mouse and keyboard but can use a controller. This allows them to experience Java Edition, which is absolutely incredible. But nonetheless, if we go ahead and look here, I believe we can actually see the button mappings if we go into options and then we go into the controller settings here. So if we go over here into controllable, bam, we can see the different inputs and we can see the different bindings. You can change these, right? You can change these around, but you can see what everything is bound to. It's kind of there and set up to mimic uh, Bedrock Edition. So that is ready to go in my opinion it's what most people are going to be comfortable with we can use the bumpers to tag between our inventory at the bottom or our hotbar and we can pull up our inventory here and select blocks and if we weren't creative we could see the survival inventory right like so so awesome stuff it just works and that's what's so amazing uh, mr crayfish has made an amazing mod here that I think makes Minecraft so much more accessible. But that's how you can play Minecraft Java Edition with a controller in 2023. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments, and uh, be sure to join our support Discord as well. If you do have any questions, the community there is awesome and will help you out. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.